guys, welcome back. So for today's video, as you can tell, we are in my kitchen, my new kitchen. And I'm really excited because today I wanted to make some salmon bowls for dinner. I just got out of work, by the way. Can you tell? My hair's a mess, the makeup is awful, and I'm in my work shirt, or in a work shirt. <laughs> I had prepped some stuff yesterday for lunch, which I always do on Sundays. I always milk up on Sundays. But I also prepped some stuff for dinner this week too. That way when I get home from work, because I get out of work so late, it's like easier for me to make whatever I want. And I have been craving salmon bowls for so freaking long. It's already been a couple of weeks since I've moved into my house and I haven't made salmon bowls in my house yet. So it's been a while. I'm craving them, so we're gonna make them today. I know that there's like a lot of videos out there about salmon bowls and how everybody else makes them, but I was like, I want my own video. I've never done a cooking video on my channel either, so I'm actually really excited. Hopefully it just all turns out really good. <laughs> my luck, we're gonna fuck something up. So for the ingredients, what you're gonna need, obviously, is some salmon. I took mine out last night, and I get the frozen salmon, and yes, I love the skin, so I get skin on the salmon. A lot of the videos that I see, people um, do the skin off, or they do like the fresh Atlantic salmon that you can like, that comes like in a big ass pack or like the two for one. I don't, I just buy frozen salmon because that's just what I do. Next up, you're gonna need some cucumbers. I have two in here, but I'm only gonna probably use like half of this one. And then of course you're gonna need some avocados. I'm probably gonna use half of one as well. This is totally optional, but I really do think that it makes a world of difference for the bowl itself. This is the G. Hughes Sugar-Free Orange Ginger Marinade. Now I haven't put this on a lot of stuff, but when I put it on my salmon bowls, guys. And then of course you're gonna need your rice. And I think that's it. Typically, I normally put like um, sriracha and mayo in mine, but I don't know about you guys, but I can't find sriracha fucking anywhere. I mean, there's like bootleg sriracha out there. I just don't wanna buy it if I'm not gonna like it. But yeah, if you have sriracha and mayo, make yourself some spicy mayo and throw that shit in there too. I already pre-cooked my rice last night in my Instant Pot because I'm gonna be eating this throughout the entire week. So I have a big bowl of rice here. If you don't have your rice already prepped and ready to go, go ahead and make that first. So when I first started making salmon bowls, I used to cut these salmon fillets up into like little squares and air fry them like that. That way I could just throw them in my bowl. But lately, that's just too much fucking work. So we're gonna just cook these whole. But again, that's a personal preference. If you guys wanna cube up your salmon fillets, then go ahead and do that. Me, I'm not gonna do that today. So what I'm gonna do with these first is I'm going to lay them down, skin side down inside the air fryer. And typically all I really do with the salmon is I would season it with Old Bay seasoning. But I've been trying this like on my shrimp and stuff and like when I just eat regular salmon. And it's not that bad. This is the Red Lobster seafood seasoning. I don't know. This is the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna season the salmon with a little bit of that and some Old Bay because you can't cook seafood without Old Bay, you know what I mean? Then I'm just gonna drizzle some oil over the fillets. And now this is important because we don't have parchment paper and because we don't have anything like that. If you cook the salmon just like this, it, the skin is going to stick onto the bottom of the air fryer. So we actually have to flip it. And then just hit it with some Old Bay again. Okay, so now it looks like this and we're just gonna pop that into the air fryer for about 10 minutes. Oh, and I cooked it on 325 if I didn't say that before. Okay, while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prep the veggies that we're gonna throw in there. Again, it's just uh, half a cucumber and half an avocado. I like to dice my cucumber into fourths so they almost just all look like little triangle pieces like this. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Tell me why that looks almost not real. And since I'm saving this half of the avocado, leave the seed in. That helps it stay fresh a little bit longer. And every time I go to Walmart, well not every time, but sometimes when I go to Walmart, I steal the produce bags to bring home. <laughs> that way I could save my used produce in another bag, you know what I mean? I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I do that. And there it is, my chopped up cucumber and my almost ready avocado. So now salmon is still a cooking. We're gonna go ahead and warm up our rice. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for like, I don't know. A minute and a half, two minutes, maybe. Rice is ready. <gasps> Salmon's ready. Okay. Rice, nice and steamy. Ooh, look at this. 
Tell me that doesn't look so good. So now all you're gonna do is just place the salmon on the rice. Then you're gonna take your avocado and your cucumber. And then you're gonna go ahead and add the orange ginger marinade. And you could totally like warm this up on the stove and even like make it thicker if you wanted to, but I fucking don't. And it's a brand new bottle, so. Then from here, all I do is literally just like mash up my salmon and mix everything together. Then it looks like this. And then you just take a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. And honestly, this meal doesn't take that long at all. I feel like typically, I think, no, it didn't even take me that long now. It took me 20, 20 minutes, even with filming. Normally I whip this shit up like in 10 minutes, like right when the salmon is done. The only way it takes long is if you don't take your salmon out to thaw. But if you're using fresh salmon, then I guess you don't have anything to worry about. And the salmon only takes 10 minutes in the air fryer, which is what takes the longest, you know? All right guys, and that's it. That's how I cook my salmon bowl here at home. It's a really healthy option. It's super fast, it's super quick, it's super easy, and it's super fucking delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. It's been a long day at work, so I'm kind of just wanna relax tonight and just like chill. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Again, this is my first cooking video here on my channel, so. I'm a little bit nervous to post it, to be honest with you. But if you like cooking videos and you want me to post more, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.